Hi everybody. So um, this is a quick video on how to use the blog. Um, here we are, uh, Mod 3 2020, and here's a basic blog that I've set up for the class. Um, what's important is that you respond to the email blogger sent you um, in your Albertus Gmail and click on the link inside and that uh, allows you to join the blog as the blog is only allows uh, people in the class to make posts and comments on it. Um, once you do that uh, you'll see in the upper right hand side when you go to the blog page um, your email address here. Um, and over here it says new post on the upper right. Um, you can also sign out. Uh, you won't see design because I'm the admin for the blog and I get to change how things look in here and work. So I get that link as well. So anyhow, once you're logged in, you click New Post and it brings you to a basic post editor here. Um, you can put in a title. First project and whoops take that out. And here is what the first So I'm just typing away um, like you would normally do in a Word document. Um, if you want to change the look of the type, this letter A here allows you to change the color. This allows you to change the background if you want to highlight it. I'd probably leave these alone though. Uh, if you want to bold it or italicize it or underline it, that's right here. If you want to create a different size, like make it really large, you could use heading. Um, you can change the font in here. No need to do any of this though. Um, just working with regular basic text is fine. Um, if you want to center the text, you can do that here. Right justify it right here. Okay. If you want a numbered list, it's here, bulleted text, quotations, etc. The only other thing that really uh, is important here is how to insert photographs or images. So this little picture icon right next to link is what you click on. And then from there you click choose files and browse to where you saved your project. Um, in this case, I, you can click on this PC, disk C, and then find the folder you put it in. Or you may have put it straight into something called pictures. Um, I'm going to go to my desktop and just throw Aretha Franklin uh, stamp project in here. So I click on the file, click open. It's uploading it to the blog, and then click add selected down here. Once it's on the page, I click on it and I like to give it a large size for horizontals, extra large for verticals. If you click extra large now, it tends to be too big once it's posted to the blog and overlaps onto this right column. Um, so once it's in here, you just click publish. And here's the two posts that are here so far. and. Over on the very left here, you can view blog, and here it is published. When you want to see the image bigger, you click on it, and it fills out the frame. Um, as long as I have my graphic designers here for a second, notice the larger 55, the smaller USA. Notice that it's stretched out. That's called kerning. Notice the top edge of the N is in line with the top edge of the 55 and that the margins are equal on all four sides. And on the distance from the image to the scallop, it's also equidistant. And notice that none of the images are skewed or stretched. So enough of that for now. And so um, if you want to edit or delete your post, you can go back into your, um, let's see, posts here. And right here, I can just click Delete and OK. And now it's deleted. And 
and that's pretty much it. Um, I have to still uh, invite everyone, and to do that, um, I add your email address right here at authors, and that'll send you the email with the link in it. So that's it for now. Send me any questions and an email, and we'll see you on the blog.